Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Shazreen. I'm from the Science Department and I would like to conduct an activity with all of you guys today. Let me introduce you to two of my balloon friends. Hey, they are both very different. One is filled with just air and the other one is filled with some water. And I would like to ask you, what do you think would happen if I would place the balloon over the candle flame? Let's put our first balloon friend to the test. Our first balloon friend is filled with just air. Alright, stand back. Ensure that your safety goggles are on. Let's put the balloon to the test. <laughs> uh, he didn't survive that one. Let's see if our second balloon friend would stand a higher chance of surviving. So our second balloon friend, just to remind you, contains some water. Let's place him above the candle flame and put him to the test. Wow. Seems to be going quite strong. Let's take a look at our second balloon friend. What do you see? So you can tell that I wasn't cheating. We really placed him exactly on the tip of the candle flame and yet he was able to survive. So why do you think this is? Our balloon friend with water had a better survival chance. So let's explain what we just observed. The first balloon exploded because it was only filled with air. Air is very bad at collecting heat. And so the rubber got too hot, melted, and popped when the balloon. The second balloon was filled with water, and water is much better compared to air at collecting heat. And so the water was able to reduce the heat gained by the rubber for the second balloon, and so the balloon was able to withstand a high temperature. So that was just one example of an experiment done to compare the properties of air and water. Scientists are always very fascinated with uh, the different types of materials that we have in the world because they enjoy learning new things about the world around us so that we can apply it to our daily lives. For example, metals are also very good at passing heat through touching. And we call these materials, materials like metal, conductors. Wood is an example of a material that does not pass heat well by touching. So we call materials such as wood insulators. And we apply this to our daily lives. So for example, your Coke cans are made of metal and this allows them to cool very quickly when you place them in the freezer, while your handles of pots and pans are made of wood. So this helps prevent you from getting burned when you place the pots and pans on a flame. So from this experience, I hope that you've learned that science is not something dull you would find in textbooks. It is about exploring the world around you through experimentation and having lots of fun as you learn. And I wish you well on your journey of learning. Bye! It is actually... <laughs> can I, can I, can I cut down there? It's so weird. <laughs>